Shalom. This is GMS Holland. Sit down. It's coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I would like to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai Hashem Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there. The spreading this word is a city and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. <clears throat> this is gonna be a short walk and talk video. You know where I wanna. Uh, elaborate on what you know fighting spiritual is okay um, like the scripture says we don't fight carnally we fight spiritually you know now I got <clears throat> I got a trick concerning that how you should meditate upon fighting spiritually how you should meditate upon this verse and what it actually means okay so this is um, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? So though we walk, um, though we walk after uh, in the flesh, we don't do not war after the flesh. Now, <clears throat> like I said, the thing that you can implement in your mind and you know, when this scripture comes to mind in certain situations, it's like if you are at war with yourself, if you are struggling with a certain thing within yourself, are you going to fight that thing physically or spiritually? You see, are you going to deal with yourself that you are at war with physically or mentally? You know? <laughs> now, trying to, trying to picture it in your mind. Would you give yourself punch to deliver? Would you give yourself uppercut, left, right, elbow? <laughs> Would you do that to yourself? You know, the answer is no, of course not. You wouldn't do that to yourself. You see, because why would you fight yourself physically? You're hurting yourself. Uh, in some way, you're hurting yourself also if you decide to fight physically with the people and upon upon whom these um, these um, entities are, man. You you're gonna hurt yourself also because this is not the battle, the type of battle that you're supposed to have with these people. Okay, this battle that you have with these people is supposed to be spiritual, mental. Keep yourself in check, just like how you would be at war with yourself okay you look at you look at the the people that are coming towards you with rage and war and you look at them as a mental thing as if you are fighting yourself you know so that's something that you've got to meditate upon man would you would you physically fight yourself the answer is no so guess what you solve certain things through your mental, okay? You're trying to work on yourself, you're trying to battle yourself on your mental. You know, when you struggle with, uh, with aggression, when you struggle with, with um, jealousy, you're fighting those thoughts. You're fighting those things that come into your mind. When you struggle with greed or um, hatred towards the brother, you fight that through your mental and spiritually. You know, keep it to yourself. Now the same thing goes for when you are fighting these, uh, these people spiritually, man. You know, you can, you can grow so much in this thing that you actually see the demons upon these people, man. Okay? And that's what's necessary to, to fight these people spiritually, man. To be at war spiritually. Okay, so it says 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 for though we walk in the flesh so yeah we are physically in the flesh but the things that you know come towards us approach us you know are from the spiritual realm huh? and when they come towards us they um, appear in the flesh you know entities are upon people those people come towards us act violently act carnally towards us so you be like hey you want to get carnal or something but that's not the thing 
they are actually fighting you mentally because a man that needs to refrain from certain from certain ways if a, if a, if he gets put in a situation wherein he needs to actually put that to the test to really refrain from those ways he's fighting mentally he's not fighting physically you see so what do these entities do that are upon these people they put you in a situation that you know in the way you're trying to refrain from something it becomes a fight it becomes a battle you know it becomes war so it says verse 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds you see they are not carnal we don't fight carnally you see now of course if the uh if the moment appears wherein we are being attacked or we got to defend ourselves we will but like i said and like i explained these entities are sent unto you and you know, upon these people to lure you out man you're trying to refrain from doing certain things what is satan's job satan's job is to make you still do it you see that's why also the scripture says i ain't gonna grab it right now y'all have to can elaborate on that in another video but the scripture also says that um that uh, he uh, worketh against us man satan wants to make us sin okay what is sin the breaking of the law so at one point the law was against us because we couldn't keep it and satan had power over us but how shall i nail that to the cross so now you know we in the spiritual warfare wherein wherein we gotta um keep ourselves in check man keep ourselves in check and fight these entities as if we are fighting ourselves as if you are at war with yourself okay it makes no sense to start getting carnal with yourself in that same manner it makes no sense getting carnal with another man or whatever it is you see because then you lose the battle if you think you can fix things physically with yourself you're losing the battle man this fight is inner you know it's in your inner mind it's in your you know it's in your spirit within your spirit man which is uh let me grab it real quick uh it's the spirit man still still bringing out this uh this scripture this is colossians chapter 2 um verse 13 and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh that he quickened quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses blotting out the handwriting of ordinances when you look up the word ordinances it goes into what command commandments ordinances it says doctrine decree ordinance the rules and requirements of the law of moses carrying a suggestion of severity and of threat and judgment certain decrees of the apostles relative to right living so it just gives some examples but the ordinances is the law the commandments okay so with what Yahweh Shai did he blotted out which blotting out a blot is a is a stain but yeah through the deed of Yahweh Shai he has removed that stain okay he blotted it out okay it says blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us why was the law against us because we couldn't keep it we wasn't able to keep the law accordingly so when we would sin you know we would we would mess ourselves up man you see and satan would be right there at our doorstep you know when we mess up so it says blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to the cross so you know we uh, we are not judged according to the law no more we are judged according to faith okay we, we we will be saved according to our faith does that mean that we can just openly sin god forbid we're trying to establish the law you see a man that is spiritual he will show his faith by his works you see so we got to keep on working right um but that's not what i was uh, looking for i was looking for um, god 
contrary one to another. Let me see. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is it. Galatians 5 and 17. For the flesh, for the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one the one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. You see that? So that's the that's the inner battle that you that you are um, having. Now when certain people that have spirits upon them, entities upon them, come to you and, want, and it seems that they want to get carnal, you have to understand that it's, it's not the carnal battle that's about to happen. It's the mental battle, the, the spiritual battle that's about to happen because your flesh is saying, Let, beat the shit out of this dude. That's what the flesh is saying. Now, that's only if you allow the flesh to, to win. Okay, because the spirit is saying, hey, uh, be angry but sin not. Okay, a soft answer turneth away wrath. A man of the most high is not supposed to be a brawler, a striker. Okay, you're supposed to be able to avoid these type of situations. How do you avoid these situations? By keeping your spirit in check. And, you know, like I said, this is, this is, like, some, uh, this is like advice that I'm trying to give in this, in this moment, which is... Um, in order to keep your mental in check, you got to act as if you are fighting yourself in this case. So you see you see a, a stranger getting all rowdy and uh, aggressive towards you. You see that, but really you got to put the mirror in front of him and, and look at yourself for that instance. You got to look at yourself and be like, oh, now, now comes the real battle. What am I going to do? Am I going to get carnal or am I going to stay spiritual? Okay, because we are spiritual men. That's why the scripture says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Keep yourself in check at all times. And like I said, trying to use this, this um, advice of mine concerning the, concerning, uh, you know, the battle that it's within you. It's not, it's not outward, it's within you. It's like you ain't going to fight yourself physically. That's why we ain't supposed to fight nobody physically neither, unless we got to protect ourselves. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Shemir Shai, Shalom Kadash, Shalom to the elect.